having a very lazy Sunday here in the Mama May household. It's gone one o'clock and we've only just decided to go out now. So we're going to go off to the Hetworth today um, as they've got a storytelling workshop through the art gallery. So we're in the cafe and we're going to do some storytelling but first it's time to sort out the Lego card. So we finished off with the close your eyes challenge of drawing, closing your eyes. So drawing sculptures, closing your eyes, which we'll be doing at home too. And now we're off to do crafts at church. I'm off to the Hetworth today for some breastfeeding training. very lazy Sunday here in the Mama May household. It's gone one o'clock and we've only just decided to go out now. So we're going to go off to the Hetworth today um, as they've got a storytelling workshop through the art gallery. Yeah, so we'll do some storytelling, get some films for your Make and Move YouTube channel, Ariana. Make sure you check them out and subscribe, please. They love it when they get a subscriber. Um, I'll put a link below and then we're off to church yeah we haven't been for a while um, but we're going to families at four which is really cool because they get to do loads of crafts singing and they're very excited because today at church we're lego card swapping now I don't know if you've seen the lego cards but all the kids are obsessed with them Right, we best get off. Come on, girls, get your shoes and socks on. No, we always don't play cafe. You can play cafe after. No, but I won't now. I'm going to have a drink first. Okay, well, play for 10 minutes, yeah? And then we'll go to a real cafe, the Hetwick Cafe. Wait, let me write the menu. Okay, quick then. <laughs> we'll do a fast food. <laughs> fast food cafe. Me. So we have to be quick. Jasmine loves writing menus. You're like your chef dad, aren't you? Cafe menu. Mama's just taking a nail polish off. Sunshine breakfast. Chocolate. Oh, sunshine break. Chocolate con. Corn. Corn. Jelly surprise. Oh, what are you going for, Ari? Ch cone. Chocolate cone. Oh, good choice. Please tell me how the chocolate cone. Okay, well, wait, then I'll sit down. Oh, I, I, I got some money to pay them. So look what the girls have done to the sofa. <laughs> They've created a little sleeping bed. Cone. And a cafe at the side. <laughs> it's like a shop, caravan, food cart. Mommy, you fit something to eat. Could I have a sunshine break, please? Uh, okay. I don't like that. You, you, you tell how it's a sauce. Oh. <laughs> and I'm allergic to juice. Don't like it. Don't the jelly surprise. It's raining, it's pouring, the oh. old man is snoring. Let me smell my own. A old man snoring. Old man We're off to the Hepworth. We're late as ever. But it's going to be fun, some storytelling amongst the sculptures. So we go in the cafe first and then we'll do the sculpture workshops so you can sort your Lego cards in the cafe. Oh look, let's sit by the window. Mama, yeah. and you, if you can't find the, the scent in there. Okay, so we've got to match all these up. And I've even got a Lego book which I didn't even realise I've been using and I didn't even realise it was Lego. Oh, vegan. So we're in the cafe and we're going to do some storytelling, but first it's time to sort out the Lego cards. I've got all the ones I knew on. Yeah, and I've even 
even got my wedding ring on today. I put on a necklace because when I bought it, my fingers must have been slimmer and I was pregnant. So I can't remember if I bought it too small, but it still won't fit. So I've got fat fingers. Find something, take something on the map for the sensory story. Go on, try to find something. Ooh, I got that's feather. like stone. That's a good way of making noise with it. We've got a shell. <laughs> good sculptures. Well done. <laughs> right, so we're getting in the gallery to follow the story of Barbara. Barbara Hepworth. Can you see anything like your objects in your bag? What's that? There might be something rough with something inside. Hmm. Oh, is there something soft like a feather? Is this sculpture smooth or rough? It looks smooth to me. Yours rough on the outside, but then smooth on the inside. And did you hear what the lady said? What is a sculpture? Rock. Something 3D. Um, it's not flat, so it can be made out of anything, but lots of them are made out of rock. Yeah. Yeah, so they made out of rock so that they keep forever. No, you're right. What are they made out of? Paper. And what's paper made out of? Trees. Well done. I am gold. Gold and, and silver. And that's the table she Oh, wow. That's the statue she made. Wow. And it says the tools a sculptor uses become his friends and they become intensely personal to one, the most precious extensions of one's sight and touch. And look, I the sculptor and the landscape, I am the form and I am the hollow, the thrust and the contour. Yeah. That's a real table which she used wow. to make things. And then it's like a big craft table. They're the things she used and they're the things Whoa. she made. Yeah. Isn't she clever? Maybe you could do that. Harry's favourite. Take a picture. So You've got to pick your favourite and draw it. Wow, is that your own sculpture? Beautiful. We're drawing with our eyes closed. The eyes closed challenge. Oh, yeah? Well done. Well done. So we finished off with the close your eyes challenge of drawing, closing your eyes. So drawing sculptures, closing your eyes, which we'll be doing at home too. Now we're off to do crafts at church and swap some Lego cards and a bit of worship as well. Did you enjoy that, girls? Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? No. No, I'm not trying to there. <laughs> That's why you didn't enjoy it. It was really good because even though we come here to the Hetworth all the time, you kind of take it for granted that there's this amazing artwork upstairs. And also because I don't normally understand it, I don't think we appreciate it enough. Um, whereas actually telling stories about Barbara Hetworth and the background was really interesting. So, so you're gluing it and then write your name because then we're going to make a heart out of the dough. And you can shape it look into a heart. Wait, that's a love heart. And mine's a jerk. And that's a jerk. <laughs> no, that but really, like... I think if you put them in the loo, they'd look like two pieces of food. Mama. 
Mama, that's Mama, a love heart. That Mama, looks a bit like a love heart. Mine does actually look like a jello. Oh, yeah. The kiwi, yeah. I bet it tastes good, though. Yeah. yeah. Tastes yeah, for Jasmine and Jesus. Oh, that's a, a traditional flower pot. Flower pot. Do you remember where we often do after nursery? After school? For a party? Uh, uh, wacky warehouse. Yeah, a wacky warehouse we're going to, aren't we? It's wacky warehouse time now. School and nursery is over, and it's only Monday, but I'm tired. Look, breastfeeding friendly. That's good, isn't it? That's what the sticker says: breastfeeding friendly. And I'm doing my training tomorrow to be breastfeeding friendly at the cafe. Oh yeah. So I'm a super bad mum. I'm wrapping the present. At the party. Well, we're super early, so that's my excuse. Good girl, you're the last one still eating. Standard painting tongue with ice cream. So we finished the party and it's time to get the bus home and drink our SpongeBob ice cream sandwich before bath and bed. Happy Monday. Getting bad anxiety. Jasmine's busy in the make and move factory. Her helper. And now the girls love these, but so do I, because it means that we get to tidy up all your hair accessories. Maybe Mama should have one too. Yeah. yeah I think. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you, Abby. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. I've got my bottle. Drink water, make milk. I'm off to the Hetworth today for some breastfeeding training. Um, we'll be helping make our cafe, the Hetworth Cafe, breastfeeding friendly. Just been listening to my podcast, social media, not my personal podcast, unfortunately, but unfortunately, social media marketing world. Um, but I've just been to the gym, it's early morning, hit class, never feel like it, but I'm getting really anxious on a morning at the moment where I'm not getting out of bed. So I've challenged myself this morning to get my son out of bed early so I've got less time to think and the girls are still asleep and I feel so much better after going to the gym. And now I'm ready to take on the school run and do my work and there's a police car. Um, although I still feel anxious but it has eased it a lot by getting out and getting some fresh air and going to a hit class where you can't think about anything else other than horrid burpees. I've done some of the some of the school runs. What am I on about? I've done the school run and the nursery run and now I'm off to Coactive, a charity I work for occasionally um, and today we're doing a first aid course from Yorkshire Ambulance Service so I'm really pleased to be working today because first aid is very close to my heart as you'll know if you watch my Save My Baby video um, so it's something that I think we all should do and refresh done lots of first aid but I still need a refresh because I don't feel confident at the moment if an accident were to happen in front of me. So I'll let you know how I get on.
getting really anxious at the moment. Like really, really anxious. It's Thursday. My anxiety, as you'll know, has gone up and down throughout the week. Exercise massively helps. I am on a gun currently um, for the hep lift. Calabinian Cafe, where I've got a meeting this afternoon. I will get changed and scrubbed up, so you'll see me later. Um, but my mental health nurse is great. Um, and basically, bottom line. 